Migori County intends to increase its fish production output to 100,000 tons monthly in a bid to meet the county's increasing food demand. The county's chief officer in charge of fisheries and blue economy, George Ochola, says the region's monthly fish harvest of 59 tons makes the county food insecure as dietary demands increase. Demand for fish in Kenya outstrips supply, with the current supply of 163,600 tons in 2021. This is according to the latest data from Economic Survey. The annual demand is 600,000 tons. This notwithstanding, counties like Migori have so far restocked fingerlings in close to 1,300 fish ponds across the county. The initiative that is aimed at reducing the cost of aquaculture for small and large-scale farmers. Each farmer in the aquaculture program will receive 1,000 fingerlings in addition to accessing the market for their products. And this is what brings me to the point of urging our farmers, those who probably are listening to this, let us go to fish farming. A small place like half an acre you can do a number of ponds. What you can produce in that you cannot compare with what you can do in agriculture per se. However, Migori fish farmers decry exploitation and mistreatment from middlemen. Compounded with high cost of feeds and a lack of storage facilities, business is tough. Our walejeribu to frustrate sana, and um, I'm, I'm not happy with them. Sababa was one of them while I was frustrated. Una samaki yako na kuja wana value wana angalia vile sizes zao livio, but ko collect nishida. And the deficit, I would tell you, is enormous that I cannot even imagine. We are supposed to be producing uh, to the tune of over 100,000 tons per month to be able to mitigate a bit, but you cannot say you can meet the demand because the demand of fish production in Kenya as a whole is below par, is far below. However, experts say for those looking to invest in the aquaculture value chain, Kenya's fish industry is still young with lots of opportunities. 